today's video, we're gonna be knocking out Texas brisket on the friggin' Weber. So this is our setup today. We're gonna be doing brisket on this baby. And just so you know, this was a Craigslist find. I didn't buy this brand new. This was, I think I got it for about $75. The, uh, the table's broke right there, but other than that, man, she works like a dream. I just put new grates in it. New grate, new fire grate, new top grate. Uh, got the slow and sear. That's gonna be extremely helpful, but I got what you gotta have, that royal oak. Now, let me show you a trick on how to open these bags. My boy Malcolm showed me. Now you gotta do it with the, the, the lettering facing on your right hand side. It's kind of hard to do this and hold the camera but you get that little get that little string i don't know if you can see it but you, it, it's tied around this end it's tight you just pull it loose and then boom just like that suckers now come on man i've seen that done before i didn't know every bag to do it thanks brother malcolm much love so i know the slow and sear can handle one full charcoal chimney so I'm gonna fill this up, dump half of it in there, unlit, light the other half, dump it on top, and that's gonna be our slow burn. This is kind of like a minion method, except all the ones on the bottom aren't lit, and we're just dumping some lit ones on the top. Kind of the same way you run your pit barrel, really. So without further ado, let's get going. So let's go inside and prep this brisket. We're not going to do a bunch of crazy stuff to it because we're here at the house with the coronavirus and yours truly, uh, yeah, took off and left the injection. I, I think I even left the rubs, but I know I got rubs here. Um, I know I got brisket mop here. I just don't know if I got beef consomme, but in a pinch, water will do. Cross your fingers, man. Cross your freaking fingers. Let's go get this sucker rubbed down, and get to cooking. All right, so what we got here, we have a 10 pound pack of brisket. I think it's about 10 pounds. Yeah, it's a 10 pound. It's an actually 9.34, but these are perfect for the Weber. We're gonna get it pulled out of this cryo vac. Let me show it to you first. We're gonna get it pulled out of this cryo vac. Uh, maybe do a little bit of trimming, not much. Doesn't really need it. Uh, get some rub on it, get it out to the freaking cooker. You always gotta take out this little guy. She looks good to me. Dirty bird hot. We're gonna get, we're gonna do this Texas style. We're gonna do it fat side up. The SPG, it's gonna give it that nice Texas bark. Don't be afraid to go a little bit heavy on these. This is a big cut. It can handle whatever you throw at it. And if you wanna use a binder, feel free to. You do you. This looks like about an eight or nine, 10 beer brisket. I'm gonna slow it down quite a bit. And I'm gonna show you how to do that on a Weber. Boy, look at this, this is gonna be killer bark, son. Right there, look at all that. Pepper, garlic, salt. Ooh, this is gonna be good. So we got our coals lit. Ooh, I'm not gonna put the lens over, oh, over. Ooh, that's hot. We got our coals lit. Now let me show you. We're just gonna sprinkle them on top. Hold, hold on. I'm gonna put you down. All right. Sprinkle them right on top. how easy that is now this little guy you can just leave it open that's what I'm gonna do and we'll set that brisket right here but before I'm gonna get this lid shut and get it set now I got the vent on the bottom all the way open I don't know if you can see that from there but it's wide open on the bottom I'm gonna control it with this dude right there and I'm gonna shut her down about halfway does that make sense? This is how I'm gonna control it. And then I got the, I got this little dude right. You can't see it very well. Let's see if I can get a focus on it. Yeah. 
So we're running about 250. She's going by 300 <laughs> pretty quick. <laughs> no, come on, settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down. She ran by 300. She's going to be probably about 350. So when we're since we shut that vent, it's going to choke it down a little bit. So I'm going to let it sit there till it stabilizes at 300. Then I'm going to put the brisket on. And I actually what I'm shooting for is 250 to 300. If I can just keep it in there, perfect. I'll be golden. So 275 would probably be the best, but I don't know if, how much I trust them dials. Um, if you don't have one of them dials, you can go to Walmart. You can get a cheap one and just drop it right through the vent or get to a little great one. Just make sure it's next to the meat, not on the on top of the fire. I've had people do that and be like, my, my grill's 2,000 degrees. No, it ain't, your fire is. <laughs> so, all right, we're gonna stabilize her, then we'll get this brisket on. Just like that, there she is. Oh, 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 oh. Oop, almost. Uh, now I'm gonna go grab some wood chunks, if I didn't forget them too, so hold on. A little bit of hickory. Gotta go find them. So we're just gonna add a couple chunks. It doesn't take much, I'll tell you right now. So don't overdo it just yet. That's really about it. And I just kind of space them out. You know, one there, one there, one right there. But that's it, man. All right, so we are doing fat side up, just so you know. Yeah, this is gonna be a good cook. It's gonna be a good one. We may have enough time in here. Uh, I may even throw in a story or two. What do you want to hear? Leave me a comment. What kind of stories do you guys like to hear? You know what I was thinking about? I haven't done this in a long time, but I might as well do it now because it's just a throwback for OG. What do you say? One time? Hey, if you like what, what was it? I forgot. <laughs> uh, hold on. Hey, and as always, make sure to, no, what was it? Oh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing and I'll catch you in the, I'm not leaving, but that was just my tagline. But go ahead and smash that button. If you ain't following us, man, I don't know. We do lives, we do giveaways, monthly giveaways. Uh, it's gonna be in the first link down in the description. We give away thousands of dollars in prizes. Grills, cookers, rubs, injections, you name it, other people's products. We've given away uh, a $2,500 Hasty Bake, two of them, a uh, couple uh, Webers, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, go down there, go over there, get signed up for sure. This is the current state of my backyard. We're getting a pool. Yay! It's gonna be a pool right there. We're, we're putting a huge pavilion back there. I think it's gonna be like 25 by 40. It's gonna start like right there and go all the way over and attach to the shop. Outdoor kitchen, all that stuff. All right, so let me show you a little pro tip. I got my uh, thermal work dot right there. I'm really not trusting this guy. He's going everywhere. Let me show you how easy it is to fix that. Just get me a little tin foil, poke my probe through there, hang it right over the brisket, and get off of that. And uh, yeah, problem solved. Now I can see what the temp is inside the cooker. You see that? You get a good shot of that? Oh yeah. All right, back to cooking. All right, so it's been right about an hour and a half Man, the wind is picking up, but it's still a beautiful day outside. Um, I got me my spray gun. I got nothing but water in here. And uh, if you can find this Spray Master on Amazon, I highly recommend you buy this. I bought these about 10 years ago. I, they come in a three pack. I bought three of them. Uh, I got one on my trailer, this one, and I gave one to my boy Donnie. So let me show you this brisket. So this is what we're working with. I'm just gonna give it a couple squirts. He's looking good. Get it closed up. Now, honestly, I'm gonna let this probably go about another 30 minutes and then I'm gonna turn it around because I don't want that one side getting too dark. So just do a 360, 180, 360, whatever it is. I'm gonna turn it around. So. 
All right, so it's coming up on three hours. Let's take a look at it. Woo! Little slow mo. Oh, that's not slow mo. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, she's looking good. That's what I'm talking about. And we still got a ton of charcoal. Let's give her a spritz. All right. Night night, Linda. So here we are. This is about uh, three. This is right at four hours, just about 15 minutes shy. But I'm gonna show you how I wrap a brisket like this. Super simple, super easy. I got my brisket mop. Um, I didn't find any beef consomme, so I had to use water, which is okay. But what you wanna do is have a sheet down on the bottom and then put a sheet down on the top, just like that. And fold up that edge. And take your mop. And I just dump it in this one end. Right here. I don't know if you can see it. Right here, I'll pull it back so you can see it. Just dump it in. Just like that. Super simple, super easy. Now we'll take this back out, get it put on the kettle. So before you put your brisket back on, make sure to clean this off. This is where a lot of people lose that great au jus. Their foil will stick to that. Good night, little brisket. All right, so just to bring you up to speed, um, we were sitting here and my dot just kept spiking in temp, 350, 380, 400. I was like, what the heck is going on? So to bring you up to speed, I had to close the bottom vent all the way around and I'm realizing that my lid is not perfectly round and it's not seating. Oh man! And it's, there's no seal around it, so there's a lot of air ex coming in through the the actual lid. So I got the bottom vent closed completely and there's still enough air getting in there. And I let me show you how I have the top ones. Yeah, see, I have the top one barely freaking open with the bottom vent completely shut. That's probably a good indicator of why I got this thing so cheap. They probably couldn't control the temperature on it. But when I'm cooking steaks and burgers and stuff like that, you never notice because I just run it hot and fast. But now that we're trying to run it low and slow, I see probably what they ran into. No worries, under control. We're sitting about five hours in. The brisket's wrapped. Um, I put the dot inside the brisket. It's right at about 170 degrees, which is perfect. So it's probably gonna take about another two hours. I just added about, uh, probably about a third of a chimney of charcoal and I just dumped them on top of the hot ones already. But man, I got some major leaks going on with this Weber for low and slow, which is okay, which is okay. I use it for hot and fast all the time, but for low and slow, I have the top about 95% closed and we're still running right at about 285 degrees which is good, we're still fine. Um, so you just may wanna know that. That little dial on, or the little uh, degree on top, uh, the little thermometer, uh, I don't know if I trust them very much, but you know, it's a good range for you. So I'm cooking it a little bit hotter, a little bit faster than I want to, so I'm trying to slow it down because I wanna get that nice Texas bark. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. So it's right at about seven hours. It's almost four o'clock. Um, and that's perfect time for this brisket. My, I'm sorry, my buzzer is going off. 
So uh, let me show you. I ran it to 206 degrees. So I'm gonna get this thing pulled off. Then we're gonna rest it for an hour. And then we're gonna cut it up and just wait. This sucker is gonna be friggin' amazing. This is awesome. This smells amazing. This is phenomenal. Texas smoked brisket on a Weber. So hey, I wanna thank everybody for watching and don't forget about our giveaway. It's gonna be the first link down in the description. Go there, get signed up. And hey, if you like what we're doing here, why don't you click on this video and I'll catch you guys over there. Peace.